Previously on The Walking Dead, AJ and I had been searching for a long time for some place we could call home. Just when we thought we'd found a huge stash of food, it turned out to be a trap. That could have been the end. But I woke up and found I'd been saved by a guy named Marlin. The leader of a community, living inside an old boarding school. It felt like a chance at having a home. A real one. We had to go back to the train station to see if any food survived the explosion. But someone else had the same idea. When AJ distracted him, I shoved him into a pack of walkers. I found Marlin and Brody in the basement that night, arguing about the man we'd seen, and I learned why Brody was so afraid. The man was part of a group of raiders they'd run into a year ago. Marlin traded Tennessee's older sisters to the raiders to keep himself safe. He attacked Brody and locked me in the basement with her. When she turned, I had to stop her. Marlin stole AJ's gun and tried to convince them I had murdered Brody. Lewis backed me up. I attacked Marlin and made him drop the gun. I told him to leave and never come back. But then... Marlin was dead. And AJ pulled the trigger. He remembered what I'd taught him. To never hesitate. I made you some coffee. It was in the kitchen. Tin said that I can have some. I didn't steal it. <sighs> I'm surprised you remember how to make it. We haven't had coffee in a long time. You put it in hot water. You're right. Thanks. Last night, with Marlin? I heard Lewis and, and what he called me. Am I a murderer? No! Oh my god! Shit! We could get medicine from the nurse's office. He's dead. The kid blew his brains out. You shot him. He's dead. You're a murderer. Marlin, he... he was down. You had him beat. What the fuck did you teach this kid? Lewis called me a murderer. But... but we're supposed to kill bad stuff. Monsters. Did I do it bad? I thought Marlin was bad. He killed Brody. He he kept telling lies. Well, Lewis was scared and really hurt. I didn't hurt him. No, I meant he was sad. But he shouldn't have said that to you. If I'm a murderer, I... I should know. Right? So... so that I can try not to be your... Lewis was wrong. What you did was justified. Justified? It means you had a good reason for doing it. I was justified. What are we gonna do? Back off, all of you! It was on 
under control. I talked Marlin down, then he murdered my fucking friend. Take AJ, go inside. Come on, let's go. Oh, just let them go back to the dorms? What happens the next time one of us does something this kid doesn't like? Should we expect a bullet too? That's not what happened. It's exactly what happened. It was over. The little Mr. Trigger Happy decided otherwise. Fuck you, Lewis. He's a little kid, so shut your fucking mouth. We get it, Lewis. Just back off, okay? Back off? Seriously? Let's go. Clem? Clem? They better not call me a monster. They were scared of me, even though Marlon was the bad guy. I'm not scary. I wasn't... I didn't act like a monster. I stopped a monster. I know you're not. We just need to prove it to them. I'll tell them they're wrong. They'll know when someone explains it to them. Like, you explain things to me. AJ, come sit with me. We've got nothing to apologize for. You saved me and them from a monster. They'll see that. We'll make them. <laughs> for God's sake, someone help me with this! <laughs> Save you from that car wreck? And you fucking murdered him? Get back, Mitch. Get back. Or what? You're gonna let him kill me too? Then who's next? <laughs> Screw both of you. Hey, what is it? You've killed a lot of people. Did you kill your friend Lee because he was a monster? Well, what brought that on? Was it murder when you shot him? I killed him because I loved him. I didn't want him to suffer. How? He'd be dead. He would have turned. I didn't want that for him. He deserved better. I love you, Clem. I love you back. Hey, Violet said to come get you for the funeral. Really? We used to have them more. Then we stopped. It seems right, though. I brought you something. For me? I figured you'd be afraid, with everyone all upset. But you were brave last night, like a firefighter. What are those? Drawings for Marlon and Brody. It's of stuff they wanted. I'm going to put them on their graves. They don't need them. They're dead. They're not gonna get that stuff. That's not why you do it. That's rude. It's true. AJ, apologize. Sorry. It's okay. Have fun with your firefighter, okay? Can we play with them later? Sure. After the funeral. They buried them already. The vial started soon. See you out there. This is gonna suck. They're gonna say a lot of things about Marlin and Brody. Some true, some not. Let's just get through it without upsetting everybody, okay? Okay, I'll try. Please! Sure, if you do like we ask. Otherwise, I'm happy to crack his head open. You ever seen old fruit explode after you throw it at something? That's just how it'll look. Uh, uh. Clementine! Oh my god. Clementine, it's 
You? I... My name is Lily. You probably don't remember me. <gasps> Lily? I thought you died. I... came close. What the hell? Not now. The fuck is this? Lee isn't with you. So he's dead then. I'll never forget him leaving me on the side of the road to die. I don't blame him. I was clearly a threat to the group after I shot that girl. Carly. Lee should have left you behind too. Might have lived longer if he did. Same thing will happen to you if you repeat his mistakes. Your little boy there. You'll die protecting him. You may be able to keep this up a while longer, but eventually he'll slow you down. I don't think so. AJ knows how to handle himself. He's got spirit, I'll give you that. But you and I know that won't be enough. Fuck, we don't have time for all this. We've got history. Great. You know her, I know her. Point is, we've got a job to do. We can help you raise that boy, Clementine. But we need you to do something for us. <laughs> what? Help you kidnap a couple more kids? We don't need a couple. We need all of you. We'll take you back to the Delta to join our people. We have walls, we have working solar panels, and we grow our own food. All we need from you is to go back to your friends and convince them to come peacefully. No one will be harmed. I'm not Marlin. Here's what I'll do. I'll take the little squirt here right now. That way... I'm sure you'll play nice. Be smart about this, Clementine. It's an us or them kind of world, Clem. If you want to save your little one, you won't pick them. Shoot!
follow. The city. Dad ran a food truck. I helped. You've got a fever. His wound will need proper cleaning and medicine, if you're lucky enough to have any. The school has medicine, but I don't think they'll share it. That's why those people attacked you, isn't it? To get to that school. They'll destroy whatever they find. Bring more guns, more fighters. Take everyone inside. They won't be able to fight them off. You need medicine. You have to go back, or you'll lose him. I'll go back. Convince them to help AJ. They'll take us back once they see him. They wouldn't turn AJ away. You hope? I'll help you get back. Past the walkers. A few more hours and we'll go. That's a few hours for you to sleep. <sighs> I'll stay awake. You don't have to. Sleep. I'll keep watch. <sighs> okay, I will. What about you? Don't need it. Not tonight. Rest well. Good night. Is he awake? Yeah, he's so hot. I can carry him. You're exhausted. No, I've got him. Hang on. We're almost there. Walker! Violet! Lewis! They came back! Look, you live out there alone, right? You could stay with us. Not ready. I can't keep carrying you. We'll be inside soon. Rest now. Shit! Is he... Uh... He's alive. He was shot. He's got a fever. Come on, let's get him inside. I can't.
It's okay, buddy. I got you. We'll take care of him. You come with me. We can talk in the office. And Clem, shh. You just try to rest, okay? We're gonna fix you right up. Clem! AJ, listen to Ruby, okay? She'll look after you. Come on. What do we do when we're scared? When fear starts to get the upper hand, We, we say, say fuck off to fear. I'm good now. Clementine, please. We need to talk. Happened out in the woods. I saw they had you pinned, and I. Shit, I got so crazy. When I heard you call for help, I didn't even think. I just let go of the arrow. I wasn't even sure if I'd hit her. And then Louis got shot six, six inches over. We'd be digging another grave. I really thought you were dead, Clem. It's just everything is so fucked right now, you know? It's really good to see you again. It's good to see you too. Just wish Mitch and the others felt the same. Lewis and I told them what happened in the woods. That woman who attacked you, I... Lily. So you do know her. We were wondering. Who the hell is she? I mean, I know you're not like with her group, but the others don't like the coincidence. Her showing up right after you? I mean, Lily and I were friends a long time ago. Friends? Back when the walkers first showed up, we lived in a motor inn. Survived really awful shit. Lily tried to keep us all together. Looks like she's changed. Yeah, seems that way. She murdered someone in our group, gunned them down during an argument. Carly was her name. She refused to let Lily push her around. It was right at the start. I haven't seen Lily since. I believe you. But? There's something else. Lily said someone was with you at the gates. James. He saved me and AJ. Let us stay in his camp for the night. But why did you bring him here? You led him right to us. I mean, he's a stranger, Clem. You don't have to worry about James. We can trust him. Willie said he was wearing... I don't know... Animal skins or something? He was wearing walker skin. That's how he gets past herds. He can guide them, too. Ugh. Wow. Okay. I wouldn't have brought him here if I thought he was a threat. It's not that I don't trust you. I'm just worried about the others and what they might do. They didn't even get a chance to mourn Brody and Marlin before these child-snatching assholes showed up. And then you two come back, after we thought you were dead. Now they're confused, and no one knows how to feel about AJ. Violet, AJ is the least of their worries. I know, but everything is such a mess. They're scared and angry, and they're looking for someone to blame. I mean, they kicked you out. How am I supposed to make them change their minds about you? It was decided. Five to three against. I know it feels like it shouldn't matter, but they were afraid of you. Both of you. You don't have to. Let me convince them. James told me what Lily and Abel will do next. He said they'll get more people and guns and come attack us. Take everyone here. How the hell would he know? He's watched them for a while. They're at war with another community. They take people to fight for them. Is that what happened to Minnie and Sophie? They turned them into soldiers? Yeah, it'll happen to us too if we don't stop them. Minnie didn't even like killing walkers. Look at this place. It's a fortress. With a little work, we could make this place really hard to attack. 
Do you actually know how to do that? Yeah, I was part of a siege once in a town called Richmond. Here, let me show you. You weren't there when we dug the holes for Marlin and Brody. We had to use cups and bowls. It took forever. Yes! Dibs! Having a nightmare. Same one you used to have all the time. About what happened at the ranch. I'll be okay. Just give me a minute. Hey, what do you have there? Did you have a bad dream too? You've been having them a lot lately. I feel safer like this, not sleeping. I want to stay up forever. I probably could. Like 18 days, if I tried hard. We're safe here, AJ. It doesn't feel like it. You used to think so. Ah! Here, let me help you back to bed. No. You don't have to keep checking on me. You always say, be tough. So I am. You say, be strong. And I will. All the time. You're the toughest boy I know. Probably the toughest boy in the whole world. I'm not as tough as you. Well, no one's as tough as me. <laughs> I'm sorry you had to do all the hard work. Showing them I'm good and smart. Smarter than them. I'm going to help you more, so you don't have to do everything. Where are you going? On patrol. Patrol? For danger. Bad people. Monsters. Whatever you have nightmares about. What if you stayed here instead? If you go back to sleep, I'll stay awake and make sure no more bad dreams come. You can't do that. You're not magic. <laughs> How do you know? 
Maybe I have magic and never told you. <laughs> no, you don't. What is it? Can I... Could I maybe sleep in your bed? Like I did when I was little? Yeah. Come on up. I I'm not scared. Just tired. Makes sense to me. Think you need that? AJ? What? You're still little. Yeah, I know. Let's see. I would marry... James. He sounds mysterious. Funny. You pronounce horrifying differently than I do. Didn't you say he wore skin? Like, human skin? Whatever makes you happy, Clem. I would, um, flip. Flip, 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 flip. Flip, 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 flip. flip. Ruby. <laughs> but, sorry. I was just imagining her glare while Clem propositions her. What? You sure that's a good idea? What's wrong with you? She picked. Ruby gets a flip. So that means you're killing... This is amazing. A sim! Oh, thank God. What? <laughs> You'd rather die than marry or flip Clem. I, uh, no. I didn't mean it like that. This is great. We're laughing, we're bonding. It's a nice break from thinking about homicidal assholes sneaking into our homes to kidnap us. Not if you bring it up. On to round two. I win. And poor Sim loses. Definitely a dare. Uh, okay. Do your worst. You have to ask Ruby for a kiss. Seriously? The most legitimate of dares. I can't breathe. <laughs> well, I think we all learned something about our good friend Asim today. Mainly that he has no romantic charm whatsoever. Shut up. Look sharp, y'all. It's time for round three. I got it. We've been pretty hard on poor Sim here, teasing him about sweet Ruby. Seems only fair we mercilessly tease someone else about unrequited love. So, Clem. Anyone here you like-like? Seriously? Like-like? What are you, six? I've made a lot of friends here, but I'm not sure I have a crush on anyone. There you go, Lewis. Nothing to tease her about. Oh, there's so plenty to tease her about. The hat, for one. Don't. She gets really mad. A sim. You've got the high card. And the loser is... Tennessee. What's something you've never told anyone because you were afraid they'd make fun of you? You got this. I, um, I, I think, I think walkers won't always be around. They'll go away someday, because the world goes in cycles, right? Ice Age, Stone Age, um, some other ages. So it's like that. This age will end, and another one will start. An age without walkers. Like it used to be. It'll be better. Why is everyone looking at me like that? Did I ruin the game? That's... really beautiful. I never thought of it that way. What's wrong, AJ? Uh, I just don't know what it's like. All of you do, but I don't. I don't remember a time before monsters. 
You know what, little dude? It's okay that you don't. Believe me, the world before this one was pretty shitty. And that feels like a good place to call it. We should finish up our work anyway. It's getting dark. You're on lookout? Yep. Clementine's got it after me. Can I come? Of course you can, little guy. Hey. Hey. You maybe want to help me with the brick trap? Yeah, I got some ideas. Cool. I'm sure they'll help. Sorry I punched you. It's okay. It's a pretty good punch. I with my eye, a knife. See it? Mm, right there. Right above your head. Yeah, they're all above my head. This one's easy. Smart, clean, vicious, dependable. Someone you want with you in a fight. Doesn't take crap from anyone. Gets shit done. Sounds just like you. Uh, I like that one. Yeah. Okay, one more time. I found a bird. Like a real bird? No, a star bird. Right there. A bird is free. It could go anywhere it wanted to. Up and up and up and never come back. Go south, east, west, doesn't matter. You could fly straight into a sunset and see where it ends. It's all of us. Everyone here wishes they could fly away from all of this. Maybe we'll learn to fly together someday. Sorry, I didn't mean to just talk so much. It's just, I've watched people leave before. Family, friends, they never come back. But you did, and now I can't imagine what it would be like if you weren't here. Um... Shit. That sounds so much dumber when I say it out loud. <sighs> you know what I mean. I think, I mean, I hope we're more than friends. And I want...
Holy shit. Uh, that's romantic. I mean, holy shit. Shit sticks. Probably time for your lookout shift. Ready? Yeah. to move or make noise. The fuck is all this? Focus. We just scare crows. Guess they took us seriously. Spread out. Get the chance. Where's our new recruits? They're not yours. Search the yard. If Clementine moves, shoot her. We'll find them, Clementine, and then we'll take them. And you. I don't think you want to kill me. Just like you didn't want to in the woods. Shut up! You can't fucking do it, can you? You've changed. I grew up. I can see that. God, you are just like him. We would have been heartbroken knowing he taught you all the wrong things. That the sweet little girl he protected turned out like this. Don't. Don't ever say his name. I knew Lee better than- Ever! Get out! If you won't help me find the others, I'll find someone who will. We recruited from this school before. Minnie wanted to come along tonight to tell you how well she's adjusted to her life, how happy she is. She said she had a girlfriend back here. Friends she missed, one guy who could always make her laugh no matter what. And her little brother, she missed him the most. Shit. Where are they? Let me take you to them. I can't. I just want them back. Please. <laughs> no!
kill that one, the girl. Should be easy. You won't kill me. I know you won't. Why? We were like family once. You won't hurt family.
I'm sorry. For trying. They took them. Sim and Omar and... God damn it, Lewis! I know. We're going after them. If we knew where to look, I'd smash down their walls myself. But we don't. Well, we've got someone who does. Ugh. <sighs> 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 